Hey guys, Beth here. Earlier today, I, I was I did a live out by the pool. Uh, it's Labor Day. Had a great, wonderful day. I was going to come back and do a live at 8, uh, but things happen, right? Okay, so hold on. Uh, things happen, and uh, tell you what happened. Uh, somebody contacted me about their cousin that was simply walking down the highway today uh, to go to Hopper's Carryout. Okay? Everybody loves Hopper's. Great family, a uh, great place. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just, as this is an amazing story. So anyway, um, he was just walking down the, down the highway to go to the carryout. You know, he wasn't bothering anybody. He wasn't, wasn't driving. He wasn't on a, on a bicycle. He wasn't on a lawnmower. He wasn't, yes, you can get a DUI if you're drunk and you're riding a lawnmower. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, the man was walking. He was walking to Hopper's. Okay, it don't matter if he had a, a, a wagon going to buy 20 cases of beer. He was walking. He was walking. He didn't have an open container. So the police pull over, and I'm not going to bust you out yet, big boy. <laughs> the police pull, him over, pull over in front of him and ask him where he's going. He said, I'm walking to Hopper's. Ask him if he was drunk. He said, no, I'm not drunk. Made him take a, a breathalyzer. He was walking down the highway, hanging rock. Do better, baby. You guys down there, I mean, it's not, it's not secret. Oh, don't go through hanging drunk. That, that, that's a traffic. That's the only way they get income is to wait for somebody. It's their, their, their prey to come driving by. Hanging Rock Police Department. Half the time they're in Ironton talking to their buddies here about who they can grift uh, and get drugs off of and then sell them. Don't put them in the evidence room, do we? We don't put those drugs in the evidence room. And that is our whole thing. You know, uh, when I worked, I was like, I oh, wonder, I just can't, Lord, help me today. Help as many people as I can. I don't get up, I didn't get up and say, man, I want to find some people, pull them over and get their drugs. Maybe I'll have a good night tonight and we can sell them. Or we can have a party when we're off duty, play poker and take those drugs that we put people in prison for. Am I lying? <laughs> I don't think so. So anyway, let me make this clear. I have a shirt on that says Coons Corner. Uh, Third and Pine, great place. I went there the other day with my sister. Great family, great place, environment. Um, they do not. They they do not agree. Nobody. If I wear a shirt from any restaurant, it doesn't mean they agree with what I stand for. I'm just simply saying, I like Coons Corner. Um, it's a good environment. Uh, it used to be blood on the floor and every night in there in the jab, and it's good to see that bar gone and and the 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 stuff that went with that bar. And uh, I'm glad. Thank you, uh, the Coons family. For what you do down there, it's a, it's a great place. But anything I say, if I wear a Callahan shirt or if I wear a, anything to do with Ironton shirt, it does not mean they agree with what I say, okay? Uh, I'm just supporting them. I'm not asking them to so support me. Okay, so anyway, it's back to the guy walking down the highway. So the, the, uh, the, he, the, his family contacted me, and I said, uh, you don't have to, if you're walking down the street, you don't have to tell a cop anything. It, you know, get your phone out, man. If a cop, if you're walking down the street and a cop tells, makes you take a breathalyzer, I mean, honey, um, I don't know what ship you came over on, but uh, that's a problem. Uh, the police cannot uh, harass you if you're walking down the street or the highway. Okay, so anyway, with that being said, another cop at Hanging Rock, I don't know who you are, buddy, but kudos for you, uh, knew about what happened. And after the gentleman went in hoppers and got his stuff, another Hanging Rock cop gave him a ride home. So, I think, uh, Mr. Uh, Capella, Joe, honey, I don't know uh, what you're thinking when you have to harass people like that walking. And to the officer that took him home, I don't know your name, but thank you. Uh, that's what we do. We serve. We protect and serve. The man wasn't doing anything wrong. So, let's get our priorities straight, uh, uh, these cops out here. You notice uh, there's ads out there. They're wanting cops in Ironton. Who wants to be a cop at Ironton, Ohio? Who does? And for the, the few men that are there... Uh, they're just hanging on to get out of there. These young kids, uh, these young cops and the steroids, uh, that wasn't how we used to be. We didn't used to be like that. Uh, we didn't used to uh, have our own social media. I don't think, I think if you're in law enforcement at, at, and you're working now in law enforcement, I don't think you need to be on social media representing Ironton Police Department with your own individual thoughts. Uh, and, uh, and, you know, let's, we're going to have a match, cage match. Let's grapple a little bit, you know, throat punch, boom, you can't breathe, you can't fight. With all this UFC shit, that's fine. That's fine. I'm glad for you. I'm glad if you have to take those roids. But it's sad if you can't do it on your own, man. 
It's really sad. Anyway, the whole thing with the cop pulling, uh, walking up to <laughs> the guy walking and the cop coming over and aggravating him, making him take a breath test. Breath test. Let me tell you what I told the family. Uh, that his civil rights were violated. Okay, it's just plain and simple, man. But what attorney around here is going to take anybody, represent anybody that goes against the police department or the courthouse or the judges or the attorneys or anything like that? And then someone said today, uh, and that'll be enough what I said with, with the man with Hanging Rock. I mean, it's over. He got to run home. It's okay. But that's just another example of um, uh, harassment. And what was so uh, uh, ironic about the whole thing, after I talked to the gentleman, um, the same, the cop that walked, that pulled over in front of him and made him take a breathalyzer told him, he said, uh, and he was the cop that gave him OVI, which he lost his license for that. So the same cop that gave him a DUI, uh, saw him walking down the highway and he already took his car away, man. What, what are you guys thinking out there? He already took his car. The man's walking to get him some beer, get him. I don't know what he was getting. It doesn't matter what he was getting. He wasn't hurting nobody. He wasn't breaking the law. He wouldn't do anything. But the cop said, uh, I'm the same one that gave you the OVI. And he goes, yeah, I know. So I'm not driving. You took a breathalyzer, honey. Don't do that. You guys don't do that. You don't have to answer anything a cop says. You don't have to do anything they say. If they ask you where you're going, it's none of their fucking business, man. They don't, they have to tell you why they pulled you over. And this suspicious activity bullshit is just that. It's bullshit. Uh, suspicious activity. Now, when did that come along with probable cause, and how did those two things combine uh, to create this whole new reason for pulling people over? Well, you look suspicious. Well, officer, you look suspicious uh, letting that girl down out of your cruiser at the riverbank after she sucked your dick. Yeah, you look suspicious. Does anybody bother you? I don't think so. So, let's get our stories straight here. Let's, let's really, I know I'm abrasive, uh, deal with it or... Turn the page. Go watch uh, Martha Stewart smoke a joint with Snoop Dogg. I'm telling you what, people. This is serious here. This is serious in Ironton, Ohio. This is serious in Lawrence County, Ohio. Um, what's going on here is not right. Okay? It's not. And if you condone it, if you allow it, it will continue. Okay? I'll keep fighting until I leave here. Uh, but this stuff here, uh, just the simple things. It's Labor Day weekend now. It's over. And I can't wait. Uh, till tomorrow when I get flooded with calls of who got pulled over or put in jail or car towed and who was with drinking out with the, with the mayor or with an attorney and never got pulled over for anything. Do you not think that people don't follow you guys? I mean, I don't. I've been here all weekend. I don't. Um, that's not my concern. What my concern is when you abuse your power, and you, you, you are mean and cruel to people and you, you do shit to them and then you go home and do the same shit to your wife or your kids. I mean, that's just wrong. It's just wrong. So, anyway, uh, Coons Corner, believe me, I'm telling you what, anybody, if I wear your shirts, uh, it's something I, I support you. You do not have to support me, okay? Um, with that being said, I'll be back in a little bit. I, I'm going to wait till tomorrow and do a live because, uh, like I said, I was going to do one. Uh, but that gentleman's needs uh, came before my own, okay? Um, it's just that. It's just that simple. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everybody was like that? So uh, stay tuned. Death risk, God bless.